Hey Movie Club, it's Chris. I am back again this week and this week we did a movie I've never actually seen before which was Event Horizon and quickie, quickie, quickie review. I actually really like this. I say let's get straight on into the review and uh, yes I am a sim. Happy Halloween! Okay, so it's the year 2047 and the crew of the, is it like a rescue space vessel called the Lewis and Clark are actually heading out on this top secret government mission all the way out to Neptune. Um, and they're going out there to recover this ship that was lost, oh my god I've already forgotten how long ago it was, I'm going to say like 7 years ago, yeah, no 15 years ago, let's say 15 years ago, um, and it was called the Event Horizon. Uh, Dr. Weir uh, was the designer of the ship and he is actually on board with them and they're going to recover um, the ship and find out what happened to it and all they have to go on is this tiny little snippet of a message um, in which everyone sounds like they're screaming and dying and are in a huge amount of agony and pain and torture so that's a really good reason to go running on along to it with only that for, you know, your kind of forewarning of what's to come. I mean, really, people, come on. Um, but when they get there, they discover that all the crew are either missing or dead. And that's when stuff starts to get really freaky. So it's a pretty good solid sci-fi thriller movie. Um... I wouldn't really class it as like your typical horror horror movie. It's definitely got a lot more of that sci-fi thriller vibe to it. But it's definitely good. It's got a good number of jump cuts. And the scene changes that do happen um, kind of leave you gasping at times. Because you're like, oh shit, did that just happen? Um, so what did I think of it? In terms of cast, I think everyone did a really good job in delivering like like good solid performances. Like no one massively stood out, but no one was so horrifically bad with their acting that you were kind of left going, just kill this person already, they're really shit. Everyone was, was pretty good. So I mean we had Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill who were the two big well-known names. And then just a bunch of people that you kind of know as that guy from Armageddon or that guy from the Bon Jovi music video. I think it was always. And I think overall they all delivered really good performances. There were some that you could tell were going to die pretty soon or that most of them were going to die because you didn't get a massive amount of a backstory on them. But they did it in a way where you still knew bits and pieces about them based on the visual clues that they put around on the Lewis and Clark as they were traveling there. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. I was happy about that. Graphically, this movie gets a lot of things right and only a few things wrong. Um, like for example, on board the actual event, event Horizon, it had like the sets of it had an almost organic feel to it. So it was actually really easy to believe that this ship kind of did have a sort of consciousness to it. You could kind of see and understand how that could happen. Um, and the way a lot of the scenes cut from one to another were really well done. There was one specific scene with Dr. Weir when he's like crawling through that little control panel duct type area that oh my god it reminded me so much of the movie The Cube it freaked me the crap out. Special effects were okay I mean they do feel a wee bit dated but it wasn't so jarring to you that it actually pulled you out of the movie you just would kind of look at a few bits and go fake. The soundtrack was really interesting though it was kind of like the musical equivalent of a paint by numbers canvas it was essentially telling you you're about to be scared now in three two one ah something's gonna happen which was a little bit annoying so the one big question that I still have about this movie and I know a lot of other movie clubbers do as well is whether or not Dr. Weir was already if he'd already sort of succumbed to this evilness on the ship before he even got there. 
So before he even gets onto the ship, he's having these weird hallucinations about his dead wife that he is clearly very obsessed with. And then when they're in their sleep chambers, before they even get to the event horizon, he has another very vivid hallucination about his wife and she's missing her eyes. And then when they actually get into the ship, that all starts happening. But it's supposed to be that it all happens because they're on the ship. So it, the question is really asked of, does he actually bring the evil with him onto the ship or is it already there on the event horizon? My personal take on it is that if this ship really had gone through into hell and come back and was really becoming this living entity within itself, that it knew that its maker of the ship with this you know great computer setup was on its way back to him and that way they were actually connected so he was having the hallucinations before he even got there to the event horizon because in essence a big part of him was already in the ship. That was my take on it. I know everyone has a slightly different opinion on whether or not it was just that he um, because he was already hallucinating was already quite susceptible to the evilness from the ship. I I mean, that's the good thing about a movie, is the fact that you don't, everyone can watch the same thing, and your own personal experiences and thoughts can shape you to have a slightly different view on what we've all seen. It's the same. And that's why I love Movie Club. So, yeah. Um, in case you guys don't know, I do these movie reviews for Source Bed Nerd Movie Club. If you haven't checked out their channel, you should. You should also look for all the other movie clubbers as well. They will have the same hashtag in their title, so search for that in YouTube and find them. They're a bunch of really great people. But anyway, uh, guys, that was my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the movie if you joined us this week on Movie Club. Um, and yeah. Like the video if you haven't, subscribe to my channel because um, it fills me with a whole bunch of warm fuzzies and I like warm fuzzies. Okay guys, I'm Chris, I will see you next week. Bye!